Good morning, folks. We're going to focus today on Earth events and deep space news, not putting much in between. As we watch plasma filaments dancing, let's begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star with the coronal hole on the south heading for the limb. His solar wind probably isn't more than 24 hours away. Towards the end of the sequence, we do see umbral magnetic fields appearing at the eastern limb, but that is a tomorrow topic. The solar wind right now is a calm plasma stream from slightly above average intensity, dropping back down here. See in the middle panel where purple plasma speed descends. No surprise that geomagnetism is all quiet for the time being. Top quake event of the last day struck Greece. It was an aftershock triggered by the Albanian rumble. Also, the west coast of the Americas got much more active than before. Just an FYI there on what we're watching today. We start the weather in the Congo, where days of tremendous rains have caused floods and landslides, killing more than 40 people, and many people have lost everything. Amazingly, they're some of the lucky ones. The winter event in the United States is breaking records once again. It's the fourth record-breaking winter system, and we're not yet officially to winter. The cold is settling in as well. And let's look ahead a bit. With pressure cells in the United States, it is the lows that disturb the fair weather. And we're going to see converging systems from the south and the Pacific drive snow down into the southern states and even across the border into Mexico. As those systems charge eastward and trouble the central states, we'll have to be watching for another system approaching the coastline by the weekend. Let's jump out to Mars. This is as close as the science news gets to us today. They found towering plumes in the global dust storms that are Rhode Island-sized until they reach the upper atmosphere, at which point they are closer to the size of Nevada. They then settle down and spread out into continent-sized clouds that cover the red planet to make it a global event. We discuss charged particles, magnetic fields, and irradiance when it comes to human health and space weather, but how about the neutrons? Galactic and extragalactic cosmic rays are the source here as their cosmic rays cascade in the atmosphere or in spaceship shielding and fire those neutrons inward. Here we're seeing not a DNA break like last time, but those same cognitive deficiencies as with the heavier charged particles. FYI, the article correction you see noted in yellow was a MathJax typo in an equation, nothing substantive. Up next, let's go to the Carina pillars. These gorgeous features stun in optical and infrared, but Alma just took a radio look at the enormous fingers detail the moment zeros at the tips of those giant dusty and gaseous pillars. Paper is linked below. Sticking with Alma here for an extended molecular envelope around a star, which has formed into a spiral shape and contains the density indicative of a recent outburst event, like a micronova. Their modeling aside, it's the Alma images really showing that spiral and the different material velocities away from the central star as pieces of the novid shell. Chandra up next, and this is a story about star formation. Looking in visible light with our eyes does not always show everything we need to see the heavens. When we switch to radio wavelengths, we often see features like this cosmic jet blasting out both sides of a galactic nucleus. The X-ray signature of the gas it excites and heats leaves us to recognize how ill-equipped our human eyes are at looking for the truth of the universe. Specifically here, they say that while galactic nuclei normally quench star formation by blowing out the starting material and keeping it from condensing and cooling, it is actually triggering star formation here in other galaxies due to the cosmic jet and its shock compression and added material density to those other cosmic neighborhoods. Last but not least, folks, this is the whale galaxy, except it's got the magnetic fields traced as best as they could see. Using the very large array, they were able to catch the polarization indicative of these field structures. Green versus bluish purple shows reverse direction of the fields compared to each other. So this is not only the best yet view of the large scale magnetic structure in another galaxy, but the up and down pattern is part of its current sheet and equatorial field systems, just extending to high galactic latitude, marking where the galactic magnetic reversals are going to be occurring. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Website members, your 95th Deeper Look episode on the year is out on the website. It is a good one, too. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.